Most abusive partners think they can gaslight and manipulate their way out of every situation. I just didn't want her to drive. What, where's she at? I do get pretty crazy myself. <laughs> she just broke my glasses. She was all over there. Then she kept what? grabbing at his throat. Okay, great. Lanched on and bit me. Today, we'll be sharing four cases where such narcissistic individuals face the hands of justice. On July 15th, 2022, 911 operators received a frantic call from a concerned neighbor. It turns out that a ferocious female had turned her boyfriend into her personal punching bag, quite literally beating the soul out of him. Police officers wasted no time and swiftly sprang into action. Little did they know, they were about to witness the live action version of Love Hurts. As soon as the police officers arrived on the scene, they were met by a guy who fit the exact description of the victim. How's it going, man? Good. Hey, were you just walking with the... With the girl? Huh? Were you walking with the girl? No. Down Pate Street or anything like that? There's someone down there, but... You saw somebody down there? Sure. What's all the scratches on your neck, man? Right here? Yeah. 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 What's your, do you have an ID on you, bro? No, I don't. You don't? What's your name, man? I don't need to tell you. But this dude flat out refused to cooperate in any way. It was clear from his demeanor that he was extremely scared to get in trouble. I'm telling you, okay, just listen. I have a lawful reason to stop out and talk to you, okay? So you have a lawful reason to identify yourself to me. If you, do, if you don't want to identify yourself to me, I'll take you to jail for concealing your identity. It's that simple. It's literally that simple, okay? You have scratches on your neck. Okay, which are signs of some kind of battery, okay, all right? Which, charges, which are probably from you, which are probably from your girlfriend, right? I don't want to press charges. We're fine, right? It, it's probably from your girlfriend, right? No matter. Okay, so if it's from your girlfriend, that means it's a domestic violence. Okay. okay, so which means I have to investigate it, and I'm authorized to take some kind of action on it. Okay, I've 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 I've, laid, shouldn't be talking I've, to me. I've laid it all out on the line for you, man. I said I didn't commit okay? a crime. I did. I I get that. I get that. Okay, but I don't know that for a fact yet. All right? So, are you going to give me your name or not? What I'm telling you, I, I would prefer not to take you to jail because you're right, you haven't done anything wrong. Okay? But at the moment, that we know. At the moment, you are committing a crime by not giving me your name and your date of birth. After repeatedly asking the guy about his name, and his blunt refusal, the cop's patience was wearing thin. He needed that information to make sure he was aware of the full picture before taking any action. But the man was finding all this behavior absurd. But you not wanting to get in trouble is getting in trouble. Because you are committing a crime. You want to guys want to follow me? No, I, I, I don't want to. I don't want to. Hitting me? I'll show you guys what's that. No, no, no. Let's go. No, I want to stay right here. Why? You guys okay. are you guys are talking to me, but you don't want to talk to the person that's committing a crime. Okay. That's where you guys are up. But I am talking to the, commercial, the person that's committing the crime I now. I no crime. You are here concealing your identity from me. I'll walk with you. And once we get there, I will tell, I will tell you. No, that's not, that's not how this works. That's not how this how do you works. want to go? So we go in the car. Once we get down there, once we're in the car, I'll tell you my name. We go down there and we can talk to the person that's committing the crime. Okay. All right, let's go do that. The cops finally decided to drop in on the girl. They were likely still convinced the poor guy had messed up somehow, but they were in for a big shock. Yeah, I'll tell you back. I love you. So what's going on? I, I just had an argument. It's nothing serious, I'm sorry. It was more on my part, so I can give him my ID and everything. Okay, where's your ID? Uh, right here. There you go. So what's your relationship with this guy? Uh, that's my boyfriend for about a year now. Just a verbal argument, but like I said, we're both at my mom's shop right now. It, it was nothing extravagant. It's more than a verbal argument because we had people calling in saying that a female was hanging on the shirt of a male. Like that. And there was screaming, so. I mean, you can check me and you can go to the no, shop. He's and like, bleeding, you're bleeding. I mean, you could talk to all of us, though, but no, he, he didn't do anything like that to me. If anything, it was myself and my nails. Look at my nails. Okay, right what there. happened? I scratched myself. I do get pretty crazy myself. I put nothing on him. So far, the police officer had been super kind to the woman. But what she said next is the height of entitlement. 
She seemed far too casual about hitting her boyfriend, and to top it off, she thought she could get away with it, and it was no big deal. Well, guess what, girl? You're wrong. So what I know in need? my law enforcement and my dictionary and stuff, you guys can't charge anything. Okay. Yeah, but it's like it's in your what? Law enforcement? No, I'm saying my my like my rights. I'm sitting here and telling you right now, like, I'm fine. He's fine. You have an address, you have my ID, I can give you my social security right now. I have no problem with that, sir. Okay. It's just, I don't want no problems. This is my man, we had an argument, that's it. Well, but I have a problem when I know that, people job, have a... Uh... But it's also one Okay. Do you ever have another problem? Okay, knock. When someone batters another person in a domestic did violence. Did see that or did they just hear us arguing? Because I yell. I yell like a mother. I ain't lying, it's not even him half the time, it's me. The girl was proudly explaining all her toxic behavior, but at this point, the cop had heard enough. It was her time to wake up from La La Land and head straight to prison land. However, little did the cop know that arresting her would become a nightmare, and he was about to get a live demonstration of toxicity and abusive behavior. As soon as he tried putting the handcuffs on, hell broke loose. I will completely say that I'll go to jail right now for that. Okay. That's me. Leave him the f out of it, though. You're a f***ing bald ass f***ing fat, white ass f***ing Go! Hey, you f***ing you! Go! Hey, respectfully, do not f***ing look at that. Is to kick me? She just broke my glasses. No! Chill the f out, for real. Well, you can kick me, can't you? Let go of me. Let go. My uncle Ryan Rodriguez was a See what the f happened! Stop! Kim, you ain't compared to him! Shut the f up! She don't even love you! She cheats on you every day, bro! I don't even have a wife. If you're thinking the worst part is over, think again. Handcuffing the woman was one challenge, but getting her into the police car was like trying to wrangle a tornado. Kudos to the cops for their patience, though. They handled the lunatic like a pro. I'm a 21 year old? Look at that. Oh my god. One request. Yes, ma'am. Go tell my mom. Right the f now I'm gonna warn the jail. Okay. For him. No, ow! Oh! I'm getting off the Turn floor. Go tell her. Turn this way. Go tell her. Turn this way. Roll Go on your side. Go tell her. Roll on your side. Go tell her. Hey. Go tell my mom I'm going to jail. Okay, we, we will. No, no, do it first. Which side, Jake? This side or Bro. the other side? Either side. Thank you. Okay, have a seat. Get your Are you coming? No. So sit up. I'm not married. The officers had to take her to the hospital first to get her injuries checked, and from there, she'd go straight to jail. But thanks to this psychopath woman, what should have been a quick trip felt like an eternity in hell. She even tried to bribe the officer with salon services and money. All 
sorry, Mr. Rodriguez. Okay, we're gonna get you out of the wheelchair. Go ahead and stand up. I'm f***ing crippled, bro. I know. I'm 21 up. years old. I'm crippled. I know. I'm getting you out of the wheelchair. But stand up. What am I in the wheelchair for? Because it was the only chair they had. Stand up. Yeah, well, you were spitting. Yeah, I was. Okay. I'm gonna help you out. Let you use the bathroom, okay? I'm gonna spit on you. I promise. Promise? Yes. I really do promise I ain't gonna spit on you. I'm no. sorry. Nothing's over here. Come over here. Okay. I don't want. I don't want to make my mom feel weird. Okay. So I'm saying she is supposed to cut my hair and my boyfriend's hair. She's a barber. Mm -hmm. You are more than welcome to. Stop by, walk in, anything you want. She already told me. Okay. So what the f I just sit here and say what? No, we're going to jail. Yeah, so what the f do I say? Hey, I'm in jail because I didn't have a f***ing ID. What the f*** do you want me to say, bro? What do you want me to say? How much you want me to pay you? How much? What's worth it for you? What? What do you want? Uh, don't talk like that. You'll just get yourself in more trouble. And when the whole bribing thing went down badly, she decided to gaslight the cops. Just imagine how manipulative she must have been in her relationship. But hey, all those antics won't work here, lady. And I did nothing to you. Can you show me the proof where I did something to you? It wouldn't be. No, oh, I'm saying, why'd you arrest me then? I didn't. Why'd you arrest me? No, Why am I in the back of a car right now? I'm just transporting you. Okay, but why? Where, where's the proof? And the legalization? Where? Where? What did I do wrong? Where, where's the film? And where's the video? It's on their body camera. Okay, so they got that ready or not? This bench yeah. has been updated. So why am I getting it taken right now? Because you're going to jail right now. I'm going to jail, but y'all don't even have Proof. Does that make any sense to y'all? And this is the that busted me out in the mouth, but y'all are taking his side. And he's from Pecos. I'm from Carlsbad. He's from Pecos, Albuquerque. Y'all are gonna take his side? You got a cigarette and a lighter. Why well, do so? Can I light it back here? Hey, uh, f with me, I'm a f with you, bro. You don't wanna, you wanna act silent? You wanna act like you. you can't talk to me? You can talk to me like a normal person, but you choose not to. So I'm gonna not talk to you like a normal person. Uh, why the f am I the one getting f arrested? What the? F but you have so many f complaints on all, all everybody else but me, right? Shut the f up. Cause I didn't do oh, to you. I didn't do to you. So I can't get the f out like a normal person. So I know drug dealer, I know junkie. I'm dating a drug dealer, but I ain't no drug dealer. After a long and painful journey, the woman was finally in the police station to spend some quality time in jail. Her resistance and attack on a police officer, coupled with the domestic violence, made things pretty messy for her. She was charged with criminal damage to property, assault on a peace officer, battery on a peace officer, resisting arrest, and domestic battery. Cases involving violent partners can surely be triggering and heartbreaking, and the next case is no exception. On June 21st, 2022, police officers were called for a domestic violence complaint. When they arrived at the location, they met a male outside, claiming he had been brutally bitten by his hateful girlfriend on the arm. 
Little did the police know, this case was about to turn into one heck of an aggressive arrest. The poor man was clearly upset and had made up his mind to press charges. It turns out he had involved the police before, but they didn't offer much help. The police kept asking him for details to get the whole picture, but little did they know, the chaos about to unfold would make everything as clear as day. beyond annoying and full-on violent. No way was she going to go without a fight. Unfortunately, this entitled and rude behavior was just the tip of the iceberg. Putting on the handcuffs and taking her to the police car would be another huge hassle. Oh, you're hurting me. Well, you're hurting yourself. I don't really care about myself anymore. Can I just... Okay, I will. Hold on. <laughs> Get them fixed as soon as we get you up and adjusted. No, I'm in pain. I want to go to the hospital. You broke my ankle. I want to go to the hospital. Sit her up, see if you can I want to go to the hospital. Oh, Damn. I'm in pain because I didn't do anything wrong. We're going to make sure you get the help. Don't, don't talk to her. Just... I'm going to... Stop. Because I don't want him anymore. Stop. Just stop Tell talking. To you want me to take her? Yeah, pull, pull your car up to here. I got to do nothing wrong. Oh, All right, just stop. Just stop. There's no point yelling. What's even more hilarious is that this woman still thinks it's not her fault she's heading to jail, but her boyfriend's for reporting the abuse. How entitled do these people get? Now I get to go to jail because you. Okay. If you kind of slap, if you, if you, are you going to listen to me to give you advice or not? 
slide your butt this way. This. No, the other way, but. Ow. Yeah, like just twist your back I this way so your handcuffs are off the, the thing. He needs to go too. Put him in jail. The only one who needs to go to jail is you, woman, not the poor guy. This arrest could have easily been one of the cop's worst nightmares with all those ear-piercing screams. However, all that effort didn't go in vain. The woman was eventually charged with domestic violence and resisting arrest. Looks like she finally learned her lesson. It's downright scary to imagine what went on with the guy behind closed doors. But what happens when an abusive partner throws fits of rage on the street? On July 20th, 2021, officers in Sparta, Wisconsin, received a complaint about a couple going cuckoo on the street, fighting like crazy. While on their way, a witness informed them that the real troublemaker was the woman, later identified as 20-year-old Nicole Campton. Not only did she choke her partner, but also ripped his shirt off and shoved him onto the ground. And when scenes like these unfold on the street, it's rarely a good sign. As soon as the police arrived, Nicole let go of her boyfriend in the blink of an eye and started walking away. The young woman likely knew she was in big trouble, but walking away from a police officer would get her into even more trouble than she was already in. <laughs> Stop! Stand there. Stand there. Okay, I won't. Okay, Stand, okay. There. Nice, please, okay? Stand there. Stand there. Stand there. After being told to stop a bunch of times, she decided to take off running, and the cop had to chase after her. But this action made two things super clear: a, she was no flash, and b, she was making matters way worse for herself. All this could have been smoother and friendlier if she had just cooperated with the cops. But now, after getting a taste of her own medicine, Nicole suddenly had a change of heart. She started yelling her boyfriend's name at the top of her lungs, pleading for his help. Isn't it ironic how she was physically assaulting him moments earlier? Unfortunately for the cops, she wouldn't go without her screeching tantrums. Is this your house? Are you able to sit up? Can you sit up? Okay, sit up. Catch your breath. Catch your breath. Is this your house? Stand up, please, miss. Me. 
stand here. I do not know what's inside of here. One of the major hurdles that law enforcement faces during domestic violence cases is that many people fail to recognize themselves as victims. They keep tolerating abusive behavior, which only makes matters worse. This case was no different. Sit down, please. What are we doing here? The cops now had to make sure that Nicole didn't have anything dangerous or harmful on her. But throughout the search, Nicole was anything but cooperative. And then, in a moment of utter stupidity, she decided to lash out and landed a kick on the officer's leg. She really thought she could get away with it, just like she thought she'd get away with hitting her boyfriend. But messing with the cops ain't no joke. Hold still, please. Hold still, please. Then stop fighting. You're a man. You cannot Tough fucking shit. touch me. Tough shit. Right you now, cannot it's all we got. touch me. That's all no. we got. You need to get her over here. You cannot touch me. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. You cannot touch me. Jenna. Don't you kick me or you're going to go to the ground again. Get over here. If you kick me, you're gonna go face down into the ground. She's being an ass. You can't search her because she's squirming on me. Yeah, you can't search me. You're right. You're not a female. Doesn't matter. You just added another charge by kicking me, by the way. Well, it's a felony. Shut up. Those aren't locked, double locked at all. Ow, look. Well, you did this to yourself, dear. No, oh, I didn't. Yeah, I told you to stop. How many times? Do not call the f cops. It doesn't matter who called. It doesn't matter who called. It does. No, it does not. It does. I did not do this. You can't say I did it when I did not do it, darling. Well, you didn't stop. Stop. After Nicole was arrested, the police started interviewing other witnesses and the victim himself. But what they heard was far more than just troubling. It was straight up heart-wrenching. The details painted a vivid picture of a classic toxic relationship. Nicole wasn't just bad, she was a mean bully. What did you see here? So, I was sitting in front of my window and they came with the stop sign. And basically, she was all over him. He didn't really do anything. Okay. Like but she kept grabbing him, ripped his shirt open. Um, He's valid, negative 99. I, I no one, no kidding. So. Um, kept jumping on top of him, trying to get him to the ground. They finally did get to the ground, <clears throat> but then came back up and wouldn't let him leave or anything else. Where did this take place? Right over here. I don't know whose squad that is. So what is going on? I'm just having a fight, and I wanted some space. Okay, I'm having a fight with this girl? That's Who is this? That's, uh, that's, that's my girlfriend. What was going on? The fight started in the house. Okay. I wanted to leave. She sat in front of the door. Now I said I would just go out the window. Did you I get out the door or the window? I got out the door. Okay. She eventually just opened the door and let me go out. Okay. I went, I went out into the garage. I opened the door. I was going to go leave. I was just grabbing my cigarettes and stuff. She came out. I started reaching in my pockets as if she was going to grab something. I, I just didn't want her to do that. I tried to leave. She kept following me. I just wanted some space. What was all this about? Relationships. Oh, 
something as simple as she thinks I'd rather play games and spend time with her. And it escalates from there because I'm the person that I want to go to her and I want to talk. And she's the person where when she's angry, she needs a minute. And I, I can't give the minute, I just want to, I want it resolved. The poor guy must have been hurt for real. And Nicole? Well, it was about time she learned a lesson. Luckily, it was payback time. She was charged with a ton of stuff, including felony battery on an officer, misdemeanor counts, including resisting disorderly conduct and possession of drug paraphernalia. She did somehow manage to get most of her charges dismissed, but couldn't escape the disorderly conduct and resisting charges. The only way she's gonna get rid of those is if she avoids any new trouble and pays up all her fines in full within one year. Let's hope she learned her lesson. However, some people never learn. They refuse to acknowledge any faults in their own behavior and instead pin it all on their partner, just like the woman in this next case. On July 24th, a Saturday evening in 2022, Wildwood police received a call at around 7 p.m. A man reported that his live-in girlfriend, 28-year-old Lorraine Marie Lasky, was highly intoxicated and insisting on driving a car from the parking lot of a convenience store. Like a good boyfriend, he had been pleading with Lasky not to drive, but she became violent, biting him on the arm. As a result, he had suffered a purple bite mark on his upper right arm, along with red and purple bruises on his upper left leg. Do you have an ID on you? Yes. Grab that for me, please. That's her ID right there. Okay, great. I mean, look at I didn't do anything. 434 said, back. Her name's going to be Lorraine Lasky. Stop. So tell me again what happened. I, I didn't want her to drink and drive. Okay. I begged her, let me drive. Okay. I had less her drink with her. Okay. I just wanted her to let me drive. She was like, no, 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 no. And she had to get gas. I'm mm -hmm. like, okay, great. And she got out of control. I said, stop. Mm -hmm. I said, I'm not going to get in the car with you. Mm -hmm. Not going to get it. So I got out and she got, she attacked me. Okay. I mean, and so all I did was hold her back. So what were you doing to try and get her to stop? Uh, I held her back. Well, what were you doing to initially try and get her to stop driving? Oh, no, she got out of the car, and that was it. I got okay. out of the car, and then she attacked me. Okay. That was it. All I wanted to do was not drive. Okay. I don't want to get in trouble. This is my girlfriend. I'm not, I'm, I'm just, I'm That's asking it. for, to piece everything together. That's all it is. All it was is this. Is that she is very dominant. She wants to take care of herself. She's a woman. She wants to be, I am a woman. It's great. I get it. Okay. I said, just let me drive. Just let me drive. Okay. Then she just... She blows up every now and then and just... Okay. You know, okay. So um, you were trying to get her to not drive just verbally or were you like trying yeah, to block verbally. her? Were you no, like trying verbally. to block her from getting no, in the car? No, no, no. no. Okay. We were in the car together. Okay. So how did she, how did that happen? Got out of the car and she just blanched on and bit me. Okay. Did she like swing at you or anything? Oh or? yeah, a bunch. But I mean, again... I don't want to get her. Do you guys home. live together? Yes. How long? Together. Okay. How long have you guys been three together? Months. For three months. Okay. It's just she's got a lot of issues in her past, mm -hmm. and I get it. All I wanted to do is just let me take care of this, and she wouldn't do it. Okay. And okay. And, Would, I, and I try to hold her back, and I hit. And she gets berserk. So, so you just got out of the car, yeah, and she car, just she, lunged at you. I, apparently, I don't even know how it started. I got out of the car and it just started. Okay. All right, tuck your feet back in. I'm gonna go um, talk to any witnesses and stuff like that, okay? okay. You can look at the video too. Okay. The whole ordeal, as explained by the guy, was nothing short of painful, both emotionally and, well, physically. However, the cop had to verify all these details before jumping into action. He said uh, she doesn't want to speak to us. So I tried to read her rights and she doesn't want to talk to us. Did you talk again? Yes. Where's the other guy? The uh, manager or whatever. Is that who that was? Yeah. The other... I'm the, big, I'm the biggest manager okay. here. Well, who Maybe. called? Uh, Brennan Ham. Brennan, okay. can I get you to the office? Can you tell me what you saw? I didn't see anything. She just came up to me. Asking for me to call the police. Were you able to see anything that happened? No. I actually, I just brought her in the back to keep her calm because she said she wanted to rage. She was very upset. She was bleeding and I didn't want her to get blood all over the store. Okay. All right. Thank you. And you were unable to see anything that happened? Uh, I just heard her yelling. I didn't see anything. Okay. Thank you. Most store workers were clueless about what went down. However, the woman was clearly drunk. She even refused to talk to the cops or give up any personal details at all. He doesn't want her to get in trouble. He just didn't want her to drink and drive. How does she say? She's drunk as shit. And she's like, who the f is this? She's like, I just feel like there's a lot of people here. Uh, who the f is this? And it, we're like, it's the man, like the worker. 
he works here. Like she's out of it. Show him your bite mark. God damn. Yeah. All I was doing was trying to hold her down. Is that from her too? On well, your legs? Yeah. Well, I just, you know, whatever. You want, uh, you want MS to check that out, stuff no. out? Or? No. With the woman not cooperating and the workers not knowing many details, the cops were left with only the guy's version of the incident. But there was a silver lining after all. The video from the security camera for the parking lot made everything crystal clear. What do you think? She's swinging on him. Yeah, but Is it she, looked like he that, was trying to hold, sorry, it looked like he was trying to hold her back, right? Yeah, yeah. She threw something there, because whatever it is. Well, when does he walk away? Right now? Yeah, right after that he starts walking. And it shows that she's aggressively going at him. Mm -hmm. And she don't want to say nothing. He has all the marks, bruises, and bites on him. And yeah. fresh, so. Yeah. All right. Um, I'm going to have uh, Nick get witness statement from him. I'm going to let him out the car. And okay. then I'll bring her. Because I don't think I should bring her out while he's there. I don't understand why I'm going to arrest him. No, I don't care. I was not still I'm sorry. I have to do. Um, I have to do a report on this. Um, once the report's um, completed, it's open to public record. And this is asking if you just want to invoke your Marcy's law, which means that it'll redact your name from any of the reports. Yes. You want to do that? Name. Yes. Okay. Absolutely. I do. All right. Do me a favor. Sign right here. So because the incident um, that happened was domestic, I have to make an arrest. Okay. I reviewed. Sorry, what? Because the incident that occurred was domestic, I have to make an arrest. Okay. Okay. So she will be going to jail. I watched the video. She's the primary aggressor. Um, this is a victim notification. This will let you know when she gets out of jail. Um, you can get the notification when she gets out of jail, or you can choose to waive your notification. No, you, no, I want to know. You want to know? Pick her up. Okay. Well, there might be um, a no contact order. Okay. So yeah, if you violate that, then you know. No, no, I don't. I don't want. To. Yeah. Okay. And that's fine. It just in our situation, this is something we have to do on our end. Okay. And I'm going to take pictures of your injuries. Even after getting handcuffed, the woman was still throwing tantrums like a child. But the more surprising part was that she seemed more concerned about her precious car than her impending stay in jail or her boyfriend. There's no way this woman respected or had any feelings for him. Even though their relationship was still new, only five months together and living under the same roof for three, it's no excuse for her being so callous or self-centered. And isn't the early stage supposed to be all about butterflies and rainbows? Well, clearly not in this case. Does she have anything in her pockets? No, she doesn't. Okay. Hang out for me, please, if you're in her car, okay? I need you to step out. Yes, you have to be transported to my car. So you have to get out of this car and go to this car. Where's my car going? It's, it's right here. here. We're not gonna throw it. Unless you want to give it to your boyfriend. Right, okay, on, then I'll then I'll take your keys with you and we'll park the car here. We gotta go into my car, so let's hop out and then we'll take care of your car, okay? We'll talk to him for you. Yes, step out and we'll, we'll, we'll get everything spread away. Come on. Why is my car being reversed? Because he's because he's moving it. Sergeant, no offense, but I'm not talking. Go ahead and to you. sit down. She got a phone in there. Yeah. Let me ask her if she wants her phone. I don't need you. I don't need you to take any of my want? personal property. Do you want your phone? I need all of my personal property out of your car. Correct. Okay. Okay. So bring it with you. Please. Okay. Yeah. Sure. Ooh. Where's your purse at? Is it in the trunk? Why am I being arrested? For domestic violence. He attacked me. Are you f***ing kidding me? I this saw started the... last night. He f***ing attacked me. Do you even have my phone number? Do you even have anything I have? Do you have my purse, ma'am? Yeah, I grabbed your purse, your phone, your keys. Where's my car going to? It's going to stay right here. It's going to get towed. I'm sure it'll be fine. Lorraine kept revealing more of her true colors in the car. And let's just say the ride to the police station was pure torture, not for the woman, but for the cop driving. One thing was crystal clear though, the man surely deserved someone better than this woman. Because throughout the drive to the police station, instead of being sorry, she kept trying to pin everything on him. Can I have my seatbelt on? I don't even know who the f you are and you're driving and I don't have a seatbelt. <laughs> Like, I, I just, 
see God, I just came I here because I was called, okay? Sides, but honestly, it's ridiculous. Am I gonna be held in a drunk tank? Because I can't see shit. You might shit. be. You might be. I can't see without them. I think your glasses are in your car, okay? I don't think they are. I think the I think they were broke. And he put them in your car. So what? He just gets to go home? He just gets to fucking Uber home? He didn't even, he didn't want any of this. What did he want? He wanted you to just be let go. Yeah, I didn't want any of it either. So why am I being retained? I was never violent to anybody except him when he fucking strangled me in the fucking car and I defended myself. I don't understand why I'm actually being arrested, ma'am. I, maybe I'm a little hostile, but like, uh, are you kidding me? Where am I going? Throw it out. Whatever you want to do, any, any food, any tobacco or lighter to light up, we just throw it all away. Okay. Holistic, topical, hurt. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Yo, should I throw it out? Are you gonna throw it out? I think it's just a weird name for um, cold sore. Oh my God. Yes, we can all agree that Lorraine was far worse than just a little hostile. So it's no surprise that was charged with battery and booked at the Sumter County Detention Center. She was later released after posting a $1,000 bond. As we conclude today's video, we're left with one question. What is the line between love and control? Let's hope that victims who suffer in silence find the courage to speak up and step out of their toxic relationships. Enjoyed the video? Remember to hit that subscribe button. Also, here are two more videos that we're pretty sure you're going to love.